Hello friends, Rapid Revision ENT, most important one learner, see this one. A girl underwent mastoidectomy for chronic ear discharge and red to orbital pain. But there was no relief postoperatively and continuous ear discharge was seen. So most probable diagnosis is apical petrocytis. Boundaries of the facial recess are cardiac tympani, facial nerve and short process of incus. The wave V in beta represents activity in lateral meniscus. Anterior crust of stapes, posterior crust of stapes and stepidial ligament are resected in stepidectomy. Part of cochlear implant implanted during surgery is receiver stimulator. T3 laryngeal cancer is 3P that is palate uh, uh, pharyngeal muscle is involved and paralysis of vocal cord. Third window effect is seen in superior semicircular canal dehiscence. This is a uh, repeat question. Laryngeal pseudo sulcus is seen in laryngopharyngeal reflex. Type 1 thyroplasty is vocal cord medialization. Laryngeal examination shows reddish area of mucosal irregularity overlying a portion of both cords in a 40 year old male patient with hoarseness of voice for at least which lasts for 2 years and history of smoking for 22 years. Okay, 22 years he has smoking history. Management includes cessation of smoking, microlaryngeal surgery for biopsy and regular follow up. A necessary criteria for successful cochlear implant is presence of auditory nerve. Topical steroids are recommended in post-surgery for ethmoidal polyps, chronic rhinosinusitis and allergic fungal sinusitis. Sleep apnea is an indication of tonsillectomy. Adenoids should also be removed if significantly involved. So what they are telling is I repeat sleep apnea is an indication of tonsillectomy and adenoids should be removed uh, if they are involved. Cricothyroid region is high and anterior in children than in adults. Initial mechanism of action of intratympanic gentamicin Microbic catheter in treatment of menius diseases, it inactivates sodium potassium ATPS channels of hair cells. They are just telling intratympanic gentamicin microbic catheter how it acts in menius disease. It inactivates sodium potassium ATPS channels on hair cells. So high frequency audiometry is used in ototoxicity. Initial screening test for newborn hearing disorder is ototoxic emissions. Laser uvulopharyngo palatoplasty is a surgery for snoring. Cochlear implant is not contraindicated in cochlear malformation. So vestibular schwannoma arises most commonly from superior vestibular nerve. Endolymphatic hydrops is seen in menius disease. So young boy while eating suddenly develops aphonia and respiratory distress. Next step will be hemlex manure. Laparoscopic internasal approach is used for lacrimal sac, pituitary gland and optic nerve. A lady with bilateral hearing loss for 4 years. Versions during pregnancy. So the type of impedance uh, audiogram will be AS type. Okay, AS is seen in otosclerosis. Treatment of choice for glue ear is meringotomy with ventilation tube insertion. A patient of carcinoma of the right side has uh, carcinoma of the tongue right side has lymph node of 4 cm of size in its lateral border of anterior two third on the left side of the neck. Stage of the disease is N2. I repeat, a patient of carcinoma tongue of right side has lymph node of 4 cm on its lateral border of anterior two third of the left side of the neck. Stage of the disease is N2. A 5 year old boy with recurrent URTI with mouth breathing and failure to grow with high arched palate and impaired hearing is adenoidectomy with grommet insertion. Frontal sinus can be best visualized by Caldwell's view. And uh, CNS cyanuria treatment is immediate treatment with antibiotics and wait and watch for 7 days. A 75 year old diabetic patient presents with severe ear pain and granulation tissue at external artery canal with facial nerve involvement. The most likely diagnosis is calvase osteomyelitis, also known as malignant otitis externa. A 14 year old boy presents with nasal bleeding. His HB was found to be 6.4 grams per deciliter and normocytic hypochromic anemia is seen on peripheral smear. The most likely diagnosis is juvenile nasopharyngeal angiofibroma. A patient presents with anteroperal polyp arising from the medial wall of the maxilla. Best management is fess with polypectomy. An elderly male patient presents with P3N0 laryngeal carcinoma. Patient is managed with concurrent chemo radiotherapy. In cochlear implants, electrodes are most commonly placed at cochlea. A 75 year old male patient presents with tinnitus, conductive deafness, dull tympanic membrane on right side, enlarged lymph node, 3 into 3 cm in posterior triangle of the neck and BY1 tympanogram. 
it is a case of nasopharyngeal malignancy. Stelberg sign is positive in vestibular schwannoma. This is also a repeat question. Types of joints between the ossicles of ear is synovial joint. A 30 year old woman presents with bilateral hearing loss for the last 5 years. Tympanic membrane is normal. Bilateral conductive deafness on audiogram. AS type of curve and absent acoustic reflex on impedance audiogram, audiometry. Management includes hearing aid, sodium fluoride and stepidectomy. Kahnard's knots uh, is um, Kahar's knots occurs at 2K heads. I repeat Kahar's knots occur, occurs at 2K heads. Ramsey Hunt syndrome is of viral etiology and there is 7th cranial nerve involvement and 8th cranial nerve involvement. An infant presents with failure of gaining weight and noisy breathing which becomes worse when child cries with laryngoscopy uh, child cries and there is laryngoscopy finding of reddish mass in the subglottis. The diagnosis is subglottic hemangioma. The management also includes carbon dioxide laser treatment, steroid and tracheostomy. I repeat the question again. An infant presents with failure of gaining weight and noisy breathing which becomes worse when the, patient, when the child cries and with a laryngoscopic finding of reddish mass in the subglottis. The diagnosis is subglottic hemangioma. What is the management of subglottic hemangioma? It is carbon dioxide laser treatment, steroid therapy and tracheostomy. Nasal tumor originating from the olfactory mucosa is esthesio neuroblastoma. Perichondritis of thyroid cartilage developed in a case of carcinoma larynx with anterior commissure and right vocal cord involve involvement. So the management will be laryngectomy followed by radiotherapy. Typical features of Meniere's disease are fluctuating deafness, sensory neural deafness and vertigo. Malignant otitis externa uh, is caused by pseudomonas aeruginosa in an old patient, mostly in diabetics and immunocompromised individuals. Laryngocele arises from secule of the ventricle. The most common cause of focal cord palsy is malignant disease. An elderly man presents with P3 and 0 laryngeal carcinoma. It is managed by concurrent chemo radiotherapy. An elderly diabetic with excruciating pain in the ear, appearance of granulation in the meatus, skull bone infection with facial palsy should be treated with penicillin. Facial nerve palsy is uh, temporal, in temporal bone fractures is more common with transverse fractures. Most common congenital anomaly of larynx, omega shaped epiglottis and strider which increases on crying but decreases on placing the child in prone position is seen in laryngo malicia. Spasmodic dysphoria affects the muscles of the larynx and multiple settings of the botulinum toxin A is required for the treatment. Investigation of choice for assessment of hearing loss in neonates is BERA. According to European Laryngeal Society, sublingua mental cordectomy is classified as type 2. Topical mitomycin is used for treatment of laryngeal stenosis. Young man presenting with an accident leading to loss of hearing in right ear. On otoscopic examination, tympanic membrane was intact. Q-tone audiometry shows an air bone gap of 55 decibels in right ear with normal cochlear reserve. Like, likely, tympanometric finding is AD type of tympanogram. A patient of suspected diagnosis of separative labyrinthitis with positive rhinitis test and positive fistula test refused treatment and returned after 2 weeks with deafness in the affected ear and negative fistula test again. So rhinitis test will be false negative because of the dead labyrinth. Infection of inner ear spreads through cochlear aqueduct. If you feel if some clinical scenario is difficult to understand, please pause it, rewind it and read it. Like if you feel the, the video uh, is going slow. You can just increase the speed to 1.2x, the option is there, 1.25 or 1.5x. And if you feel some case is fast, you can slower the speed also. The infection of inner ear spreads through cochlear aqueduct. The treatment of choice for paralyzed vocal cord in a 10 year old boy with hoarseness of voice after diphtheria is wait for spontaneous recovery of the vocal cord. Bone anchored hearing aid can be used in a 7 year old child with bilateral microtia and cranial atresia with a Conducting hearing loss. A 40 year old man presents with left ear discharge and mild ear pain for the past 7 years but no history of deafness. On examination, the tympanic membrane is intact and discharge is seen coming from the posterior superior wall. The left ear canal and the tympanic membrane are normal. Most likely diagnosis is chronic otitis media. Management of large antropanal polyp in a 28 year old man is endoscopic sinus surgery. 
Learning was a seal arises from saccule of the ventricle. I think it's repeated because it's asked so many times. Objective piece of microscope per year surgery is of 250 mm. Maximum hearing loss is seen in auricular disruption with intact tympanic membrane. Earliest manifestation of glottis carcinoma is hoarseness of the voice. Species of vibrio most often associated with ear infections is vibrio marginolaticus. Sensory supply of the auricle is from greater auricular nerve, auricular branch of vagus nerve and tympanic branch of glossopharyngeal nerve. Conducting hearing loss is seen in otosclerosis, otitis media with effusion and separative otitis media. Androphonia is corrected by type 4 thyroplasty. Weber test is best elicited by placing the tuning fork on forehead and asking him to repeat in which ear he hears it better. Positive Fisla test is found after penetration surgery, hypermobile stapes, foot plate and labyrinthine fistula. Most common cause of acute otitis media in children is pneumococcus. Triad of Meniere's disease are tinnitus, vertigo and sensory neural deafness. Four days pounds in oral cavity arise from sebaceous glands. Space showing collection of pus in quincy is peritonsular space. Bell's palsy is idiopathic ipsilateral paralysis of facial nerve. Sensory neural deafness is a feature of Alport syndrome, Bartos syndrome and distal renal tubular acidosis. Most common site of leak of CSF rhinorrhea is cribri form plate. Middle part of cavity in middle meatus is a, is a parabolic curve. So this uh, question should be about uh, uh, air flow current during inspiration in the nasal cavity, something like that. Uh, when that question is asked, the middle part of the cavity in middle meatus is a parabolic curve. Laryngocele arises as a herniation of laryngeal mucosa through thyroid, thyrohyoid. So I repeat, laryngocele arises as a herniation of laryngeal mucosa through thyrohyoid. Nasopharyngeal carcinoma has bimodal age distribution. This is very important. IgE antibody to EBV, EBV that is Epstein Barr virus is formed and squamous cell carcinoma is most common histological type. Most common site of CSF leak is fovea ethmoidalis. Beta transferrin estimation is highly specific for its diagnosis and fluorescent dye can be used intrathecally for the diagnosis of leak. Most common site for CSF rhinorrhea is cribriform plate and if the option is not given then you can choose ethmoid sinus. Endolymph in the ear is secreted by stria vascularis. Bell's palsy patient presenting on day 3. Treatment given is oral steroid and acyclovir. Diagnostic criteria of allergic fungal sinusitis is area of high attenuation on CT scan, allergic eosinophilic, mucin and type 1 hypersensitivity. An adult female patient presents with history of singing, vocal abuse, gastroesophageal reflex and has developed nodules at the junction of anterior one third and middle third of the vocal cords. So what is the treatment? It is speech therapy and uh, PPIs. Okay, that is proton pump inhibitors. Weber's test. What is Weber's test? It is lateralized in uh, conductive hearing deafness to the diseased ear. They are just telling Weber's test is lateralized in conducting deafness to the diseased ear. Most common type of congenital auricular dysfunction is tapis defect with fixation of foot plate and lenticular process involvement. Artery neuropathy is an effective modality of treatment for Meniere's disease. Vestibular evoked myogenic potential detects lesion of inferior vestibular nerve. Second primary tumor of head and neck is most commonly seen in malignancy of oral cavity. In electrocochleography, evoked potential is generated in cochlear and auditory nerve. Okay. In malignant otitis externa, diabetic and uh, immunocompromised people are more susceptible. Granulation tissue is seen on the floor of the external artery canal on otoscopy and ESR is used for monitoring the disease. In Meniere's disease, electrocochleography is a gold standard investigation and Simont manure decreases the giddiness. A child has retained disc battery in the nose. Battery contents might leak uh, resulting in chemical damage of the surrounding tissues. In Bell's palsy, steroids are used, unilateral facial weakness and role of herpes simplex is present. A 35-year-old pregnant lady complains of hearing loss, which, aggravated, which is aggravated during pregnancy and it was sent to tympanometry. Graph seen is AS and diagnosis autosclerosis. Grey-white membrane and tonsil is due to infectious mononucleosis, streptococcal tonsillitis and diphtheria. Retropharyngeal abscess is confined to one side of the midline and can be palpable parorally by pressing the finger on the posterior pharyngeal wall and it presents with dysphagia and difficulty in breathing. So this completes 100 ENT one-liners, series 1, rapid division. 
exactly the rapid revision is not a revision that but these covers all the repeat questions in the past uh, and high yield questions so uh, this gives an extra edge to you if you know all these one liners so please complete all the uh, 19 subjects of series 1 and then go to series 2 thank you and good luck